Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Today we're gonna to talk about this uh, EV Dance Tesla Nax. Ha! Ah. Tesla next to me just told me it was recording me. That's funny. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this, this Nax adapter, Nax to J7072 adapter. Nax is also known as the Tesla standard. This is the EV JT05. It does up to 60 amps. They also have one that does up to 80 amps. Most cars are gonna to be totally fine with a 60 amp version. You do wanna match it to what your car can do. So if you have a car like, like a Lucid Air that can do 19 kilowatt charging, you would probably wanna get the 80 amp one just to be safe. Although finding a Tesla destination charger out there in the wild that actually does 80 amps those things are unicorns i mean i know that they do exist but i've never seen one so along with this box you get a nice little carrying bag and of course the adapter what differentiates this guy from a lot of the other adapters out there in market right now is that this one is crazy cheap like right now on amazon you can buy this for around 50 dollars because there's a coupon and even without the coupon, it's like $77. I think the SRP is around 100 bucks, but still, that's crazy. Part of that could be because of this. This little tag on here that came with it lets you know that this will only work with Tesla chargers that are set to J1772. They call it the all vehicles setting. I've never heard it referred to as that. I've heard it to it referred to as like legacy and I guess modern. Inside of that Tesla destination back there, there's a little dip switch that controls if it's in legacy version or I guess modern version or what EV Dance calls all vehicle, all vehicles mode. All vehicles mode is essentially J1772. All modern Teslas support J1772. I've never run across uh, a destination charger that didn't work or wasn't set to that mode, but you know it's possible that they exist. And in that situation, this won't work unless you open the destination charger and uh, change the dip switch. But hopefully all of them are set to whatever the modern Tesla charging mode is, which is J1772. I've been out here for about an hour with this. I'm going to throw some thermal images up around. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is maybe 4 degrees Celsius, something like that. Maybe a little under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So heat testing, it's not the ideal day for that, just saying that out loud. But I see nothing that concerns me at all. Uh, it's just plugging along and working just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Like every J1772 plug, there's a, a button here that latches it to the car. Unlike some J1772 NAX adapters, this one does not have a lock or the ability to, a little hole to put a lock or padlock through or something like that. So basically anybody who comes up to this can just disconnect it from your car. And there's nothing that stops them from disconnecting it from the Tesla or an X plug and just walking off with it. There is a little switch down here which locks the NAX plug into the adapter. I'll try to pull it out here. It has to be in the up orientation for that to come out. You can see that this plug's not in the best shape, which is probably why we were seeing this area here on the thermal images as being the hot point. The quality of this, on the other hand, does appear to be pretty high. I'm gonna throw some images up around here so you can see what the pins in here look like and what the pins in there look like. There's a seal on this side. There is no seal on this side. I don't believe that that's required for NAX. EVDAN's claims uh, safety certification. The safety certification is not for the US market. It's not UL listed or certified or certified by an NRTL. It's not safety certified in the US. 
I did send an email out to them to ask if they're planning to do that. If they respond before I publish the video, I will put something around here which indicates what their response was. I don't know if that's a concern for you, but I'm just saying it out loud so that you know. Overall, I think given the price of this thing, what, 50 bucks? And the fact that it works, <laughs> the fact that it works so well, I would have no concerns using this for my own car, obviously. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.